my name is Lexi. I'm a keeper here at the Elmwood Park Zoo and I am lucky enough to take care of the otters and I am one of their main trainers so I love talking about them. Thank you for joining us today. With me here is also Rebecca. She's filming. If you have any questions throughout make sure that you put them in the comment section um, and we will be sure to try to answer questions towards the end once I am done giving you some facts and info about the otters. So if you want to look over at the otters, we have two here. We have Rocky and Piper. Rocky is our male. He's on the left. He has a mustache right under his nose and he's a little bit chunkier, so that's a good way to tell him apart. Um, and then Piper is our younger female. She's two and a half while Rocky's 15. So Piper is very, very active and Rocky is active as well, but just not quite as much. She acts just like a toddler and she wants to be busy all the time. I'm going to go ahead and toss them some frozen ice cubes. We have one shaped like diamonds and like circles. They love to play with ice cubes. Um, they love them because they can uh, move them around and put them on their head and they like to be able to chew on them once they're small enough. So they love playing with pieces of ice. So I'll be tossing them into them just so you guys have something to watch them doing. So they are very well adapted to Pennsylvania. They are actually from here. They're from North America. Um, so they are in parts of the United States and Canada, kind of wherever they can find a comfortable place. They live along stream, uh, streams and rivers, uh, anywhere they can find a body of water because they are uh, so well adapted to uh, bodies of water. Their body is streamlined, um, kind of similar to a beaver where they have a long, uh, smooth, skinny body and a long tail that really helps them move uh, in the water. They also have webbed feet uh, that helps them swimming and paddling. They are also able to close their ears and their nostrils completely if they want to underwater. And they have two layers of fur. They have an under layer that keeps them nice and warm and dry. And then the outer layer is what gets wet. So that's how they stay nice and warm even in really cold temperatures or getting wet. They stay pretty dry and warm no matter what, even in the water. So that's pretty cool. Uh, they have pretty long whiskers that help them to find food. Stuff that they would eat in the wild would be things like crayfish and fish and small invertebrates, anything they could find in the waterways, sometimes eggs if they find them. Uh, they are carnivores, so they like to eat meat. And I'm gonna toss another ball in. It looks like Rocky took one up onto the shore to play with, so I tossed him another one, and Piper's going to steal his other one. So they live in bodies of water, and um, you're going to find them, you can even find them uh, here in Pennsylvania, like I said. Um, I've been told that there's a family that lives near the aquarium downtown Philadelphia, uh, but they're very hard to see unless you are uh, looking for them at the very, very early early morning. Uh, they are naturally more nocturnal um, and sometimes they can be diurnal so normally they would be awake and active at night um, but they can turn diurnal uh, active during the day at certain times of the year. Really it's gonna depend on when they can find food the easiest. Uh, they do love winter and snow. When we had our first snowfall here close to Christmas they loved it because they love uh, they love chomping on pieces of ice, as you can see, but also if there's snow all over their exhibit, they love to just slide on it. They won't even use their legs at all. They'll just wiggle around like worms in the snow. Uh, they have a fun time. They are, uh, river otters are typically uh, solitary, which means they usually live by themselves unless it's breeding season. Uh, but they do like to socialize pretty often. So you will, you can sometimes find them in groups our pair right here makes a really good uh, couple. We don't plan on them having any offspring because uh, Rocky is a little bit too old and Piper is still too young, so it's not a perfect match just yet. Um, but they uh, they do make a great pair living together because Rocky is very very patient with Piper, who's the young and spry crazy one. Um, he likes to spend his time sleeping <laughs> pretty often, but she will go over and wake him up to play. Uh, so she keeps him young <laughs> and he actually taught her how to swim because uh, Piper was a rescue. She was an orphan that was found and she uh, was hand raised 
uh, because she wouldn't have survived on her own. And when she came to our zoo, uh, she was very afraid of this large pool because she had only seen a very small pool uh, where she was living. And Rocky actually taught her how to swim. And the way the otters teach their young how to swim is by actually just throwing them in the water over and over again, giving them tough love, and pretty much telling them, you'll figure it out, and just watching over them. So he taught her how to swim, and now she's in the pool all the time, and she really, really loves it. Uh, do you guys have any questions? I'd love to answer some. No questions yet, but we do have a comment from Bonnie who said, our otter encounter was amazing. They highly recommend. Oh, awesome. Somebody uh, mentioned that they loved the otter encounter here. Uh, we do do um, meet and greet otter encounters with our otters. You can look for that on our website. Um, you can sign up for one of those. Uh, what we do is we um, have a couple of guests come with us and we train our otters on our back wall and they get to train the otters, they get to target with them and practice for injection. So if the otters need vaccines or something like that, we practice what we would do for that. So we do a little training session with them and our guests can get some one-on-one -on -one time with them, which is really fun. So you get to really see their personalities up close. Uh, I'm very grateful to be here with the otters. Uh, otters are my favorite animal. So I love spending time with them and just watching them. I'll toss them a couple more. Oh yeah. Haley wants to know, what is their gestation period? Uh, only a couple of months. So it's, it's usually around 60 days. So it's pretty, pretty short. And they do have like three to four pups typically. What other things have you trained them to do? Uh, Rocky is trained a little bit more since he's been here a lot longer and he's been around the block. Um, but I'm working on station training Piper, which Rocky already knows. If you want to point over here, we have a couple of short stumps that they can stand on. Um, when we ask them to, we will uh, point to the stumps and give them a little hand signal and uh, ask them to station and then they will stand up on those stations for them. Uh, and then Rocky also knows how to basically yell for us. We will ask him to yell um, and that way we can see the inside of his mouth. Um, just make sure his teeth are healthy and everything inside his mouth looks great. And then uh, Rocky is trained to give us his paw. So we have a small little door that we open and then he puts his paw through and basically gives you a low five. Um, and we do that during our uh, otter encounters as well. And that's so that um, if we need to get blood from him, we're able to from his paw. Uh, so all of our training that we do is all for medical reasons and we use operant conditioning training. So it's always the animal's choice whether or not they wanna participate if they wanna train at the time. And it's all so that we can get a better view of them or do anything for medical procedures that we would need. Um, like we would like to train the otters to get inside of a crate for us in case there's any emergency if we need to transport them somewhere or if we need to transport them for an exam. Um, and it's all to reduce their stress and our stress at the same time so that they're used to doing uh, things that we need for them and they're not stressed out about it because they've done it before and it makes it quick and easy for us. We have a question from Laura. She wants to know, do they have a favorite type of toy or food? Hmm, the favorite type. Um, well, actually the ice is probably one of their favorites that you guys are seeing right now. And they love any of the toys that go into the pool pretty much. So probably a lot of stuff in the pool that they have right now, like they have balls, a little uh, floaty uh, boat and um, a toy keys. Pretty much they've probably dragged it in there because they love being in the pool so much. Uh, so anything that goes in there that they can play with and move around, like that tunnel in the very middle that's black, uh, that's one of their toys or enrichment. And they love going through that. So anything that we can, give them uh, new and we give them new enrichment or toys every single day. So they always have something new to interact with every day. And we actually have an Amazon wish list where uh, guests or any individual can uh, donate new toys and new enrichment. So the otters always have something new to play with. Like these ice balls that they have right now were actually something that somebody donated. They donated ice molds for us so that we could make the ice balls for the otters. Uh, and pretty much anything that involves food. So if there's anything we can stick food in, they really 
love playing with that. Uh, Piper loves crates uh, that we give her inside at nighttime because we put hay inside of the crate and the, or straw and then she loves to sleep in it. <laughs> so she likes to burrow herself underneath the straw and cuddle up. And that leads to Kaylee's question because how many hours a day do they sleep? Uh, that's hard to say. Uh, Rocky probably sleeps mm, during the day, I'd say like four or five hours, but then they, they sleep through the night. So pretty much when we bring them in at night, we bring them in close to five um, and they'll sleep all the way until we come in in the morning too. So, and we come in around 7 a.m. So they, they sleep a full night inside um, and then basically it varies how long they sleep outside. Um, depending on how warm it is, if they feel like laying down, or if they have something to play with, like right now, it kind of varies. And then we had a question of what is a funny thing that's happened with them from Elena? A funny thing that's happened with them? Um, probably just, I don't have any crazy stories, but um, I mentioned that they love to put stuff on their head. and when Rocky was living by himself uh, before Piper got here he had a period where he was by himself and he would put stuff on his head all the time he would have clamshells on his head any type of toys that he could get on his head he loved wearing little hats and we knew it wasn't just a mistake because it would fall off of his head and then he would put it right back on <laughs> it's pretty sweet that he loves put wearing little hats what thing make them such good swimmers? Uh, basically their body makes them such good swimmers. Uh, you might be able to see right now their feet are so webbed. Um, they have a long tail that they kind of use like a rudder would on a boat. Um, and they're very slim shaped um, so they can glide very well. And those two layers of fur keep them warm like I mentioned. So pretty much their body. Um, and the fact that they can keep water out of their ears and their nose by closing them up when they're swimming. Uh, they actually can hold their breath underwater for like eight minutes. So it's kind of crazy. And Kyle wants to know, is it easy to get them for medical procedure? Is it easy to what, I'm get sorry? Get them for medical procedure. Uh, they, that's something that we've, we've been working on. Uh, Rocky is pretty used to it. Um, so he will take injections really, really well. So we'll ask him to go into what we call a chute, which is just a halved PVC uh, up against his mesh or fencing on inside. And he'll go right into it um, so that we're able to give him an injection. And he's done it um, so many times that he's pretty comfortable with it. Um, and then after that, he knows to go into a crate. Um, so. Rocky's pretty good at um, being ready for medical procedures. We actually haven't done an exam on Piper yet, um, so we're not sure how that's going to go. I'm working on training her for injections right now, um, so we'll see how hers go, but he's pretty great at it. And then we have a question from Jim and also from Nicole. They want to know where they can find the Amazon wish list for the otter. Uh, you can find that in our website. I think it's under support. And then you'll go down uh, to wish list and Amazon wish list. There's one for enrichment, and then there's uh, one for other items uh, for us to use. Any other questions yet? That's all we have right now. Okay. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us today and hanging out with uh, Rocky and Piper. Uh, we hope to see you guys again soon and hope that you visit and uh, make sure that you say hi to Rocky and Piper when you come by. Thank you so much.